and I did it just the same way you can have a friend and you feel, let me stand in for a friend. This is somebody I had met. Nime clarify hiyo, nasonga kwa the next. Anasema, in her talk, somehow she's alleging kuna mtu mwingine na mfanyia. And apparently, nikomboka. Ningekua nikomboka, TikTok is a platform where you come express yourself. And if I wanted mboka, I would be very vocal on platforms. I don't do that. I don't. Even everything that I was doing with JB and uh, JB, I would not call Pesh and Coco. Most of the times, I would even comment or or uh, if somebody is trying to to say something that is not right, and I'm in the live, I would walk out, go, and then Google take a screenshot. Nyambie JB, JB ndio yo proof. Perfect example, the day a lady I don't know ali gift nyako, yo siku yondo ilikuwa inakuwa discussed. Na lisema, atapatia nyako, two million dollars, I think, or something. To kai convert into, from, no, from Australian dollar, to Kenya shillings. Nika, tra, nika convert kwa, kwa converter. Nika chukua screenshot. Nika tumia JB. Approve huyo mtu ati ni pesa mingi. Na exchange rate ndiyo hii. Unaona? So. So. Akisema. Akijaribu kwa lejivo. Anadanganya. Queen amedanganya. Now I want to move fast forward. Mambo ya Queen. Queen. Um. I will say it here, everybody to hear. Number one, stop playing smart and trying to portray the sense of 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 uh, pity at nilikutumia or nilikuwa na kwambia vitu. Stop it. Please stop it. You have alleged that I sent Sakena pictures sijui za nini according to how you know it kama kuna picha nilitumia sakena nimempea ruhusa i expose your picha yenye naongelele the only thing i discussed with sakena was when kulikuwa na issue ilileta mvutano hii mvutano sijui ilikuwa ni nini Ah ah, Lady J alikuwa malindi. Na wakanza ku argue kwa gari waki drive and they were live. And everybody stand. Eh sasa akanipigia simu local akini explainia vitu zenye zilikuwa zinafanyika mpaka yeye mwenyewe kusema na mdomo yake walifika mpaka kwa polisi malindi na nikambia sakena hiyo story sa hizo sijui hiyo siku lady jia ametoka ma what do you call it malindi then i think she came to Kisumu and went to Sijui ni Ushago uko kwa wama. I can't really remember very well. But when she was in Malindi, she said, Nikikuja nita kuletea leso. So on the day yenye alikuwa na kuja nya alisema tanipea leso zenye alinibaia, she called me wakiwa wanaenda airport. Alikuwa na, what is the name of her partner? inanipote chichi akaniambia please come tukutane i'm on my way to the airport but i'm with mini me but mimi si kujua mini me ni nani only for me kufika hapo nikapata lady j ako na, na chichi and they're driving to the airport and there was a bit of confusion baada kwa amepata ticket ya nani ya, ya chichi to travel but her she had her ticket so she was busy on the on the while well in the car on her tablet trying to find Chichi a ticket. 
tukafika airport and Chichi was driving very fast tukafika airport when we reach airport suddenly i saw a changed lady j na asikia amesema tulipiga picha airport akuje na hizo picha tuonyeshane aonyeshane cause when we arrived it was now as if they were missing their flight very fast they took the luggage they left me standing there not knowing what is going on i've not even talked anything with her they checked in in a rush and then i was walking away lady j akanita if you know kisumu international airport once you get your boarding pass the first screening machine kuna kwanga na glass so I'm walking, then Lady J comes shoving her hands like she's calling me. Then I go to her. And then she tells me she's told someone is coming to pick these keys. NYS, I can repair his keys. They were, it, no, she gave me these keys kama to Kokwagari before to end. But she, don't, she didn't tell me anything about them. So I'm like, I have these keys. Maybe let me let them check in before the gates are closed alafu tuonge kwa simu akisha ingia then akaniambia niende kwa hiyo glass kwenda kwa hiyo glass akaniambia the driver is there nikamuliza where ati i've given him your number and he's calling you but he's right there where the car is Mi nikaenda kwa gari jusi nilikuwa najua gari I'm looking for the driver then somebody asks me ni wewe by pointing at me and I say yes I give him the car keys we get into the car he starts to drive gari ya ingurumi gari ya ingurumi and we had not parked at a parking zone the car chichi parked it right at the drop off zone you're not allowed to take more than five minutes at a, at a drop of zone. We were stuck there. We were stuck there for the flight duration. Yeah, Lady Jacqueline Nachichi Kufika Nairobi. Over 40 minutes. The cops came. It became an issue. Now, the way the cops in Kenya work, Umneza ongea ukaachiliwa. This guy could have done that, but gari haina mafuta. Pesa pia, Lady J hajalipa umtu pesa zake. <laughs> Ameataka mwenye misi kumtaja. Haya. Gari haina mafuta. Nikapigia Lady J jua wakuwa wameboard before watoke. The car is off the driver is here and he's asking me for his money the guy is whining what do i do kumbe wako wamemlipa wakamwambia anafanya nini anamtumia lady j alituma hii pesa kwa namba ya airtel ya huyo jama and that is the number that i was given Uyu mtu amekaa anangoja Mpesa message kwa namba ya safari kwa mkumbe pesa imeenda kwa Airtel. Akaniambia sijapata message na nimengoja ngoja wacha nianze kutembea niende outside Kisumu airport if you know it from the airport to the road it's quite a distance. Tena he has to make a right turn ya teremke chini ndi apate the nearest gas station aeke anunue mafuta kwa kibuyu arudi nayo kwa airport aeke kwa gari tutoke. Akifika kwa Mpesa, akaona a message but it was sent to his Airtel number. Ikakuwa tena shida. Hakuna hakuna Airtel money agents around that area. Ilibidi huyo mjamaa aende explainie watu wa petrol station, sijui kakuwa aje mtu akakuja akampea hiyo pesa. Akanunua mafuta ya 1400 the car was a rav 4 off road. 
So you can imagine how many liters igari tatumia. Na ilikuwa imezima completely. So, ilibidi ya nunue mafuta fuel ya 1,400. Walked back to the airport. Utana na baria. This guy is already frustrated with all these things I'm telling you. Me, I don't know he's frustrated. Anafika pale kwa baria. Copsy with what he's carrying. It is prohibited within the airport. Time bado inaenda. He had to bribe his way by calling me. Nipatie uyo au mapolisi wenye walikuwa hapo. Pesa. Ndiyo wa mwache. Kwa hana pesa ingine. Lady J only sent him 1,500 kwa Airtel number. Na menunua fuel ya 1,400. I paid those cops. Tukarudi hapa kizungu mkuti penye gari zizimia. Patrol boy, di polisi wenye wana patrol pale. Sasa ndiyo wanaleta tena kesi. Wana take advantage. Wana taka wapewe kitu na umjama. Again, I had to part with my money. I used a total of 3,000 shillings. To Katoka Airport, the guy told me everything because of the frustrations that he had out of that incident. The guy started telling me, Ange Jua, Ange Patia Lady J. Gary. Ehe, nikasema we, hapa pana maneno. Why? Ako frustrated. Ati last time she was in Kenya, koza likuja before that. Yenye alikuwa naishi kwa nyumba. Ingine, I think Milimani or those sides nyalenda or whatever, somewhere there. Alikuwa naishi kwa nyumba ingine, huko na alikuwa na kuja live. And she was using another person's car. Unona? Hapana ile time yenye dula lishikwa. Hiyo time yenye alikuja Kisumu dula akishikwa. A friend of this driver alipatia Lady J gari. Waliaribu hiyo gari properly. Wakakosana na mwenye aliwapea gari. So this guy is saying angejua angepea Lady J gari because whatever happened to his friend ndio hii inataka ku happen. Wamemwachia gari airport, gari hata ina mafuta na hajamlipa hizo siku sijui sita zenye alikuwa ah, ilikuwa six days alilipa deposit akabaki na balance ya huyo mtu juu alikuwa oshago and it's true alikuwa oshago for i don't know three days or four days but the total bill that she owed that man was 22000 according to that man when she landed in Nairobi I told her the ordeal of this man. Because she had to call me. Ju, alijua ku already blanda isha tokea. Nika muexplainia what that man says. Nika muambia please, mutumia pesa yake. Niko nae hapa, I'm at United Mall. I don't want to get involved. Musot, mimi nitoke kwa mani, ni mwache na gari yake kwa mani. I go my way. After some time, she sent him the money. Akanyambia, kwa kijaluo, ose orona. And I told him, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Nice to meet you. And I walked away. Akuji aseme kama nadanganya. Si alikuwa nataka nionge. Me, I didn't want to talk any of these things. Amealeta mwenyewe. That is what happened. Ningine tena mnataka ni clarify aliongea please munikumbushe. So now customer after that unatuwekea chats zake. Aya. Eh hey, chats zake niko nazo. Aya weka. Ba, mpaka ni, mpaka niende WhatsApp ni zi screenshot mwakio ndio nirudi huku niweke green screen. Ah take your time. End of the screenshot. We are here waiting.